Hey guys, welcome back to Comigan. I got uh, your toy review this week. It is the 1990s Playmates Dick Tracy, based on the 1990 film. Um, these figures were really cool. They're uh, very unique in the fact that the line concentrated more on the villains than they did the actual heroes. In fact, out of the 14 figures in the line, we only got two good guys in the entire line. That being Dick Tracy and Sam Ketchum. In this line, we actually have 14 figures. Now, you'll notice on the table, I'll give you a few a second to count, there's only 13 here. I consider this the complete set for one simple reason. The blank was never produced here in the United States. We produced, but not in the States. This was a Canada exclusive action figure. Reason being is Walt Disney did not want the uh, surprise of the mis uh, identity of the blank to become known until after the movie came out. The blank, which is the only figure in the line that had any sort of action feature, his mask came off to reveal the bad guy. When the figures didn't sell well, they decided to just sell, put out what all they had, and the blank went to Canada as opposed to spreading it out. This line being involved with Playmates, you'll notice some interesting um, and very similar features. First off, let's go over articulation. Articulation is very basic. Head moves right to left, arms move up and down, and the legs move out. You'll notice the short stocky build on this, these figures are very reminiscent of another Playmates toy line, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now these figures actually, if you wanted to, wanted to so, uh, do so, you can actually have these as the human bad guys for the Ninja Turtles, which they did fight later on in the uh, TV series. And it would work perfectly. They even had crazy uh, and unique accessories such as knives, Tommy guns, trash can lid shields, and for some reason, a piece of wood with um, some nails hammered to do it. They also each had unique belts. We had belts full of bullets. We had holsters for their guns. The line also featured two vehicles, one for the good side, one for the bad side. I don't currently own them, but I am looking for them. First off, Dick Tracy had his police car. The main villain, Big Boy, had his um, escaping car. So, that being said, let's go over some packaging. Okay, as you'll notice here, or not, because the camera is, I got it. So we have, the packaging was pretty cool with the artwork here. Uh, we had the Dick Tracy logo here, uh, coppers and gangsters, which again, as I noted, there were only two actual coppers in the line. Um, of course, our hero is highlighted here on the side with the name of the character on the front, and of course, the figure inside with the blister. Turn it over. We've got a little bi bi paragraph here of Dick Tracy, and of course, what was really cool about these is a little comic strip that kind of highlighted the story with the action figure. We've got a, <laughs> a most wanted cutout, and of course, all the action figures that were currently in the line. Let's talk a little bit about detail on the figure. The details here, um, these did have some very unique details. Uh, you got the little strap here, highlighting this vest. We got Dick Tracy's badge. We got handcuffs. The only th they even have his signature wristwatch. Now, the only thing that really upset me about this action figure is the one main thing that 
the character was known for, his big yellow trench coat. Even something he wore in the movie. The figure did not come with a trench coat. Now, I'm not sure why they did it that way. Maybe it was just cost cutter, and perhaps maybe they were playing on a uh, another version of the figure in a second series, which would have been nice to see. And you know, John, if you notice, a lot of these figures actually do look like the actors who portrayed yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, we whereas have... Whereas Dick Tracy, it doesn't really resemble Warren Beatty. No. I mean, this one was... Um, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. We've got Henry Big Boy there. We got... Uh, it was Robert De Niro, wasn't it? I believe it. We got well, Robert De Niro... So, and those that they couldn't get the likeness rights to is also okay, because look at that. He looks like he came straight out of the comic strip. So, all in all, pretty cool. I'm a huge Dick Tracy fan. I've got uh, not just the action figures. Um, I carry them around uh, in my Dick Tracy lunchbox here. And if you uh, which, notice, if I could find, um, if I could find it, I found it one time on eBay, uh, but I didn't have the money to grab it. There is a carrying case for this that also served as a playset, so I'd like to be able to find that. Um, and as you notice on all the packaging, there is a little calling Dick Tracy on this one. It's the influence is hypnotizing right. an armored car driver. The tramp the stinking is stinking up the sewers, and this is something that again comes straight out of the comic strip because influence was known for his hypnotic powers. What could they get with the fingerprint? Um, for to those my, of you to who my don't knowledge, know. there was nothing. They didn't have any type of, uh, like the turtles, you were able to yeah. save the save points. Uh, you did that with G.I. Joe as well. To my knowledge, nothing. Um, I think they had something planned for second series. Which, yeah, all 14, 13, whatever, figures were all part of the first run. Um, I had never heard anything about a second run. I think it would have been nice if we got, say, um, Tess, Trueheart, and Junior. Mm -hmm. That would have been nice to get some more good guy figures in there. They did, however, have... Uh, maybe you could get the uh, watch. I have the watch. You have the I watch. I don't have the band anymore, mm -hmm. but I do have the watch. I do still have the actual watch. <coughs> I do remember the Again. watch was the coolest thing. They even came out with Dick was, Tracy lottery was, tickets was, at the time. It was, a, it was a digital watch, and at the bottom it had a, the, the speaker. When you pushed a button, it, it, it glue. It, it lit up. So, still have that. I think I might have had the watch at one time. It was a birthday also, present. But... It was a birthday present. I got that. Um, I also have some cards from like the 1930s. It was a, it was a, it was a card game. Um, I, got a, I got an official book. Like manless there, so these figures go pretty cheap online actually. Um, unless you unless you're interested in trying to find the blank, the blank I've uh, is currently available on eBay for uh, about a thousand, two thousand dollars. Um, I also found all fourteen figures online for uh, around three to four hundred dollars because the blank was in it loose. So, but the blank alone uh, goes anywhere from about five to a grand usually, <laughs> because it is such a rare figure. It is, it is one of the rarest action figures, not just in the line, Dick Tracy line, but period. <coughs> um, but yeah, these are pretty pretty easy to find. Uh, I managed to get these completed earlier in the year. Uh, I done, uh, only a few of them. I actually got the weapons to. Uh, I, I didn't really care about. The completion. I just wanted the figures. I figured I'd get the weapons later. Um, looking back, I kind of wish I would have had the weapons because some of them came with dynamite, some of them came with uh, cement shoes, which is kind of funny. Some came with bags of money, so that's something I might In fact, it was later. Mumbles who got the cement shoes, right? No, Lips Mantles actually well, got okay, the Because yeah. in the movie, they actually poured cement on them to kill them. So. Right. What did, Mumbles was the one who got. Arrested by Dick Tracy and got put in front of the light. Right? Got in front of the light yeah. and uh, he he slowed down the tape to uh, where he said, uh, "Big boy did it. Big boy did it." <laughs> so it was a surprise cameo too by uh, Dustin Hoffman. Um, the movie was a huge hit in 1990, which they wanted to continue um, 
obviously the blockbuster because the year before was Batman. Right. So. And Dustin Hoffman went on to star in he Hook. Hook, another, uh, I believe, another Disney film. So. Uh, so those are some action figures I used to have. I wish I still had. I do a review on those too. Yeah. But, uh, they they were horrible. They really were. Uh, I only had two of them. I had uh, Peter Pan, Flying Peter Pan. I had uh, Captain Hook with a Swiss Army hook. I had Peter Pan. I had both hooks. I, never I had Rufio find, I and find I had Rufio. Ace. I couldn't find Rufio. Uh, and the second line. I had Thug in the battle wagon. Oh, yeah. I didn't have any of the, uh, the vehicles. Uh, some other things I'd like to get a hold of are some Robin Hood and uh, Prince of Thieves yes. figures. Because um, mostly. I wanted their tree, yeah. tree fort, because you know what that was? That was the Ewok village. Really? It was just repackaged. Huh. It was a re it was a repackaged Ewok village is all that was. I did not know that. Yeah. And I think that's actually cheaper to get than the actual Ewok village. So, but they're crazy, definitely. Um, if you're in, if you're interested, like I said, they're fairly the the thirteen figures released in the states are fairly cheap. You can get them anywhere between uh, literally like two to fifteen dollars. While you were talking figure. about these, I was actually going around looking to see if you had any of the uh, Ninja Turtle toys here, because usually you do. I, uh, I was going to bring one over and actually... Compare? Yeah. Yeah, I, unfortunately I have nothing else to compare these figures to. Uh, but like I said, you can tell, and you can tell that these are the same sculpt. Uh, the figure, the arms are the same sculpt. Uh, some of the shoes are the same, just repainted. Uh, and of course, you know, the, the main buck here, the main... Body is, you know, not the same, but the arms and the hands, the exception of Dick Tracy's watch, they're all molded in the same same shape. They all have that trigger finger here, and they have one where they can hold, like I say, a club or something like that. So, but there you go. Dick Tracy, a uh, really cool toy line, um, especially if you're a Dick Tracy fan, which I am a huge Dick Tracy fan, have been since growing up, since before the movie came out. Um, I was actually one of the few kids in my class when the movie came out who already knew who Dick Tracy was. So there you go. Uh, side note on Dick Tracy. Uh, just recently, within the last few years, five or ten years, teamed up for the first time with Daddy Warbucks from Annie to find Annie who, in her last comic strip, had been kidnapped. Huh. And Daddy Warbucks hired Dick Tracy to find her. Nice. So... And for as many years, I mean, Annie had been going for for years and years. Dick Tracy had been going for years for years. There was never an actual team up. And to my knowledge, that might have been the first comic strip crossover, which would have been cool nice. to see Garfield and uh, Heathcliff crossover. Yeah. But to have Annie and Dick Tracy, and to finally confirm that those two are in the same universe is kind of cool. Yeah. All right, we'll get we'll be back, guys, where we'll talk about. Uh, Doctor Who, The Return of Dr. Phantasmo. That'd be me. I'm Dr. Phantasmo. He's going to talk about me. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe put a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page. Links are in the description below.